graph the cubic function y equals x cubed. Another way of saying this is y equals x to the power of 3. Well, this is a cubic function precisely because we do have this x to the power of 3 feature on the right-hand side of this equation. And suppose we've never encountered a cubic function before. We're not quite sure what it looks like. Whenever we encounter a function where we're a little unsure, a great way of going about figuring out what it will look like is to draw up a table of values. That is, we draw up a, a list of x values, and then we consider those x values, input them into the equation, and then we write a corresponding, corresponding list of y values. And once we've done that, we can then plot each of those corresponding points on this graph and see if we can get a handle on what exactly the function is going to look like. So let's do that now. Let's choose a, a few sample x values. Just for the fun of it, let's do minus 1.5, minus 1, minus 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.5, 1, and 1.5. So these are evenly spaced x values. They're around the origin, which is, which is quite nice. Usually that's a, a, a good way to choose what x values are, you'll examine. They're all uh, 0 0.5 units apart, so let's go ahead and evaluate these seven x values. So if we input zero, sorry, minus 1.5 into this function, we get y equals minus 1.5 cubed. So let's write that down. So this is the same as saying minus 1.5 cubed. What's that? Well, it's hard to figure out in our heads. So let's go to our calculator here on the left. Uh, and let's type in minus 1.5 and we'll do that all cubed. So that is going to be evaluated to minus 3.375. Minus 3.375. Okay, one down, six to go. Let's examine what happens when we have x equals minus one. Well, here we're going to have y equals minus one cubed. Minus one cubed. That's gonna be minus one times minus one times minus one. Well, a negative times a negative times a negative is a negative, and one times one times one is one. So this is going to equal negative one. Let's have a look at negative point, point 0.5, so negative 0 0.5. Well, the y value here is going to be uh, minus 0 0.5 all cubed. Again, let's go to our calculator to figure out what that's going to be. So we could easily type rather than pressing each one of those buttons, which is what I'll do now. So minus 0 0.5, and that's going to be cubed, and that's going to be equal to minus 0 0.125. Next up, we've got x equals 0. What well, x equals 0, we're going to have y equals 0 cubed. That's going to be 0 times 0 times 0. Well, 0 times 0 times 0 is 0. So the answer here is 0. x equals 0 0.5. Well, at x equals 0 0.5, y is going to equal 0 0.5 cubed. Uh, let's go to our calculator again and say 0 0.5 cubed is going to equal 0 0.125. Here we're going to have 1 cubed. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. Here we're going to have 1.5 cubed. So 1.5 cubed put some brackets around this just to make it very clear. So uh, 1.5 cubed, that's going to equal 3.375. Okay, we've now got a list of x values and corresponding y values. Let's go ahead and plot these on a graph. So here's our graph. The first one we have is, is minus 1.5. So that's going to be 1.5 units left of the origin. And the corresponding y value is minus 3.3, about 3.4, 3.3 or 3.4. It's going to be approximate since we're drawing by hand. So it's going to be about 3.4 units down. So that's going to be about, about there. It's not going to be perfect, but that's good enough. Okay, next up we've got x equals minus 1 and y equals minus 1. That's going to be the point uh, one unit left of the origin and one unit down. That's going to be there. Let's go ahead and look at our next points. This is minus 0 0.5, so that's going to be 
0.5 units left of the origin and minus 0.125 so that's going to be a tiny fraction about about 0.1 unit down so that's going to be about here okay the next point we've got is 0 and 0 so that's going to be the origin that's going to be this point here next one we've got 0 0.5 and 0 0.125 so let's have a look here. So this is going to be 0 0.5 units right at the origin and 0 0.1 units up. It's going to be about there. Then we've got 1 and 1. So it's going to be 1 unit right at the origin and 1 unit up. And then we're going to have 1.5 and three point, about 3.4. So that's 1.5 units right at the origin and about 3.4 units up. Okay. So we've now got our points. All we need to do is figure out what exactly this curve is going to look like. So let's see if we can graph this. So it's going to curve around here and go through the origin and then curve again. That's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's never perfect when you're drawing by hand. So this is what, this is what this cubic function looks like. Now we could discover more about this cubic function by considering the domain, considering the range, considering whether it's odd or even. But at the very least, if you ever come across a function where you're not quite sure what it looks like, a great way of figuring out its basic characteristics is to input some x and y values.